Good morning. It is too cold and I don't want to get up. It's like three degrees, which is like 36. It's, I don't know, 6.30, something like that. Vince is up, but I'm freezing and I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag yet. All of you. Okay, Vince is singing. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 to 8. I don't even pretend to be that person that says I'm going to get out of camp early. It's so cold. So I'm wearing my base layer bottoms, two shirts, my puffy. I busted out my gloves that I haven't even worn once since Mex since I started in Mexico. Um, it's not kind of one degree last night. That's like 30. Yeah, I thought it was three degrees, but that was the weather um, in Big Bear. And we're up on the mountains. So it was one degree, which is like 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Oof. So with the snow coming, if we go 14 miles, we can drop 2,400 feet today. So... Um, Vince said we're going 20 miles. That's up for discussion. We're going to start with the 14 and see how that goes. Uh, there's not water for the first like eight miles this morning, but it's not like it's hot and we're drinking a ton. We do have a little bit though. And then water's really good the rest of the probably next couple of days. Yeah. So we'll see. Hey, I know that guy. It's funny how it just winds around like why not go straight across <laughs> at the teddy bear creek camp or something like that look a bathroom so excited for that pretty sad but hey when you're in the middle of the woods it doesn't take much to make you excited there's supposed to be a spring here as well we're gonna stop for probably 15 minutes or so have a break have a snack filter some water there's even a horse corral. You can ride. Oh, it's Little Bear Spring Trail Camp. Not Teddy Bear. Apparently Vince is drying out his quilt, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a picnic table. Okay, we're definitely stopping here for a little while. So we had a snack, we shed some layers. We decided to not get the water there. It was in a, like a horse trough and it was not looking that great. And there's a fresh creek. Uh, 0.3 of a mile, so we're just gonna do that. Um, it's like 11:30. I think we need about seven and a half more miles. Apparently, there's a campsite by a creek with a waterfall. That'd be kind of cool. Checked in with Captain. He's back on trail, moving slowly. Really trying to focus on how he's landing and walking with his feet. He figures he's three days behind us. I think we'll see him in two. So. We'll see. Getting some more water. We actually walked right by the water source and, no. had to, and had to turn around and come back. We were walking down the road paying attention to where the trail crossed the road and just completely missed the stream. So it's a good thing we checked and didn't get too far. So nice little stream. So we'll get some fresh water here. This area looks like it's recovering from a burn. There's lots of burned, old burnt trees, but there's a lot of new growth too. But I know we're going to see a lot of this in California, but it's so sad. We just met a girl who just got back on trail. She had to take 10 days off in Ida Wild and five days off in Big Bear because she has a stress fracture in her, in her foot. I don't know if she didn't say foot or leg. She was on crutches for a while though. Didn't want to get surgery, got back out on trail. So that's, that tells you the determination of some people to hike this hike. Snacky time again, and we're. It, I would not eat that or even put that near my mouth. That's <laughs> disgusting. We're just airing out our feet. You can see how gross my feet are. This is a blister that's healed, believe it or not. More leuco tape, more leuco tape that sticks to my sock. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna have a little food, and then I think we're only three miles. Three miles, maybe, from where we're gonna stay tonight. So, yeah, it's two o'clock, so it's time for a break. I'm having some chicken salad on. Well, I was going to have it on these crackers, but they look like they're a little crunched up, so um, I might just be eating all of it with a spoon. It's almost 3.30. We're 1.3 from the campground that we're stopping at. It is warm. You can definitely tell we descended off the mountain today because it got hot. Um, there's supposed to be a little creek or river and a little waterfall there, so I'm really hoping. I can soak my feet. 
A, because they're tired and sore, B, because they're dirty. Well, I made it across without falling in. Let's see what Vince can do. He's gonna follow what I did. Don't step in the sand. <laughs> Easy peasy. Good job. All right, we made it to camp. Um, sorry, there's something crawling on my camera. Uh, we hiked 14 miles today, which was about 22 and a half kilometers. Uh, we got to camp about 4.30. We were right by a river, which is lovely. We were going to go soak our feet, but we're both just too tired. But it's nice to camp by water. Um, Vince is just making some food. I'm thinking about what I want to eat. I ate lots for lunch today, so um, I'm doing better with my food during the day. And I just had to wash my face before doing this because I looked at myself in my phone and my face was filthy and Vince let me walk around like that all day today and didn't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> I, Cause it's so dusty and I walk behind him, it just kicks up all the dust and then you get a little sweat and it just sticks to you. And I had like, oh my God, it was terrible. So anyways, um, my gratefulness for the day is um, camping by water. I'm so grateful that we've followed a little river almost probably half the day we've been above it we had to cross it a couple times but um, it's just so nice to camp by water and not have to worry about rationing our water and dry camping we dry camped last night and then the first water source was like eight miles and I just hate that stress either a big water carry or you don't drink enough because you don't want to run out and yeah I don't want to deal with that so uh, the other good thing is we dropped down 2400 feet so there was snow in the forecast for day after tomorrow so it could have started snowing like tomorrow evening, night. Um, we've dropped down low enough now where it's not going to be a problem. So yeah, I think tomorrow if we push a 15 mile day, I don't want to say if we get up early and get out of camp because <laughs> that just doesn't happen. But if we do 15 miles, we will end up at the hot springs. So that will be really cool. Um, yeah. Talk to you later.